A trolley of mass 600 kg is initially at point P on the slope at a height of 80 meters above ground level. Okay, so our reference is this ground level. Trolley release from rest and then you go down and then come to rest at Q. Mm. Released from rest. That's, that's a note I want to make. Initial speed is zero. Also means initial kinetic energy is zero lah. FYI. So the total distance travel is 1.5 km. A constant resistive force of 300 Newton opposes the motion of the trolley on the slope. So maybe the track is a bit rough, got some energy loss along the way. So what is H? This smells like an energy conversion kind of question. So mm, I think what we'll do is talk about, what we'll start is think about the, the energy that's increasing and energy that's decreasing. So if you see, oh, you sort of super high up here, eventually you drop down to this height. That's a decrease in GPE. So there's a change in GPE. Decrease. So who increased? Other energy got to increase uh, in, in place of this decreasing GPE. So let's start off writing GPE first. Decrease. Equal to... One I will definitely add in is due to this resistive force, there will be a work done against friction, some amount of it. Uh, and then, hmm, miss, should we add kinetic energy? Uh? Change in kinetic energy. Is there a change in kinetic energy? Think very carefully. You start off at rest. At the end, you also end at rest. So there's no change in kinetic energy. So don't write this KE. We don't doesn't affect our whole picture here. So I think we can do our MGH and this thing. So this will be MG. No, let's not use H because H has another meaning here. Let's use X. How about that? So this change in height is X. If we can find X, we can find H later. Work done against friction will be frictional force times the distance you travel, total distance. Okay, let's use D for distance. Huh? D. Okay, let's sub in everything we know. M is 600. G is 9.81. X, we don't know. Frictional resistive force? 300. How far do you travel? 1.5 km. Very, very long distance. Okay, so with this energy conservation idea, you can say that X is 76.45 meters. But don't straight away go and choose 76 or something else. No, 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 no. This is just X from the start to the ending height. But what they want us to find is this H from the ground. Okay, so you want to find H. We got to take 80, the full height minus X. So we'll take 80 minus 76.45. And that will give us a very small value, about 3.55. I didn't keep many decimals, lah, so my, my answer might value slightly. So about 3.5, 3.6. But in this case, um, they had 3.5. A little bit off, but that's probably also due to the rounding. So I'm going to go with A. Just a tiny little height above ground. Okay, so that's how you can solve questions like this. Think carefully of energy conversion conservation and you'll be able to start off with this first equation to get us rolling okay so i think that's all for this question i'll see you in the next one